In campaign 2018 local matters, we're taking a look at New York, where the governor, Andrew Cuomo's administration, is said to be investigating the Trump Foundation. New York State's tax department is reportedly handling the investigation. Governor Cuomo said Thursday the department could refer its findings for criminal prosecution. Joining me now for more on this is Laura Namias. She is a reporter for, Pol for Politico New York. Laura, thanks so much for being with us. Tell us some more details. Why is Cuomo's administration looking into the Trump Foundation? Well, um, the New York State Attorney General has already opened up a civil lawsuit against the Trump Foundation for what they say is self-dealing on the part of the foundation. They say the foundation was actively involved in the Trump campaign and that funds raised that were supposed to be for charity were actually used to uh, pay legal settlements for Trump and to purchase items for his homes and offices. Um, so the tax department is opening up an investigation into whether or not the Trump Foundation violated any state tax laws. Mm, okay. And is Governor Cuomo feeling political pressure to drill down on this investigation? He is. Um, the uh, One of the candidates for New York Attorney General this year, Zephyr Teachout, who actually challenged him in 2014, has been calling on the governor to um, refer the case to the Attorney General. Um, attorney General's, attorneys general can't pursue criminal cases unless they receive a referral from the governor's office. He made it clear today that he stood ready to give that referral to the AG's office. And has there been a civil suit filed against the Trump Foundation? Yes. The New York State Attorney General's office has already filed a civil mm -hmm. suit. They're seeking almost $3 million in damages um, for the alleged self-dealing. And they're trying to get not only Trump, but three of his children, Don Jr., Eric, and Ivanka, barred from holding leadership positions at the foundation in the future. Interesting. Let's talk a little bit about the larger political implications for Governor Cuomo here. I mean, as, as we all know, he's facing a challenge from Cynthia Nixon, but polling seems to show that he's doing well. He's doing better since recently, correct? Right. So there are two things to notice about the poll. The first is good news for Andrew Cuomo. Since the last polls, he has effectively moved into the territory that Cynthia Nixon has been trying to hit him on. He has moved left on a bunch of issues. He's uh, essentially, you could say, co-opted some of the positions that she's put out there to the point where the major difference between the two of them at this point is the fact that he's been the governor for two terms and she has very little political experience. Um, but we did see that recently in the 14th district. Right, that a, a exactly. Very little political experience. That was matter. my that was my <laughs> second point. Um, the second point is that this is a small poll mm -hmm. uh, that samples all registered Democratic voters, so it's looking at about 900 registered voters, um, and. Uh, history shows that only about one in five registered Democrats votes. Right. So the results could be really could skewed and could change. So let's talk for yeah, let's talk for a moment about the fact that Alexandria Ocasio Cortez had that upset victory against Joe Crowley in the 14th district, and that she has been supporting Cynthia Nixon. Does it seem to be moving the dial at all, though, in the governor's race? I think it's too soon to tell. Um, where it could really make a difference is that it could energize people who usually sit out elections, perhaps uh, people on the left of mm -hmm. the Democratic Party and the far left who think that their votes don't make a difference, um, might be more enthusiastic about turning out to vote for Cynthia Nixon after seeing what happened with Alexandria. But you don't think that, that the polling numbers from today, I'm just going to read them because uh, we have them here from Quinnipiac University. Cuomo is 36 points ahead, according to this poll, of challenger Cynthia Nixon. Of the 415 registered Democrats polled, 59% said they'd vote for Cuomo compared to 23% for Nixon, and this is a wider lead than he had in May when yes. it was just 22 points. So I'm just curious whether this may be pointing to the limits of sort of this progressive energy that we're seeing in some districts, namely the 14th district. I mean, is there a limit to that when it comes to a wider New York race? Well, I think that the demographics of the New York 14 race where Joe Crowley lost um, are different from the state as a whole, for yeah. one. And there's also a huge difference between the experience that it takes to be an executive like 
Governor Cuomo and the fact that Cynthia Nixon has never run for elected office before. And that seemed to show up in the poll. Voters said by the same margins um, when asked that they preferred to have somebody who had political experience in office as governor. Um, that seemed to make a, a substantial difference. I don't think that it's a referendum on her policy positions necessarily, especially since Governor Cuomo has adopted most of them. Uh, it says more about her lack of political experience. Yes, she is, like you said, first time, first timer. Um, mm -hmm. I also want to point out that three-term representative Hakeem Jeffries is said to be weighing a bid for Democratic caucus chairman. Are you hearing anything about that? Right. Uh, Politico just reported, I think, within the last hour, um, confirmed that he is yeah. actually seeking uh, the position. He is a rising star in the Democratic Party. He was rumored to be a, a potential candidate for New York City mayor. He decided not to do that. But people have been bandying about his name for years now. He's uh, um, seen as incredibly bright and an and up-and-comer. All right. Well, you know, also I want to point out that this week a second set of convictions came down for former associates of Andrew Cuomo. How damaging is that? Well, you might think that it would be really damaging, especially because uh, a Quinnipiac poll showed this week that voters think corruption is a serious issue in New York State. But if history is any indication, that actually doesn't make a difference in how people are voting. It might dampen yeah. voter enthusiasm and voter turnout, but it's not necessarily going to make someone change their vote from Andrew Cuomo to someone else. And what were they found guilty of doing? Uh, These big rigging. Big rigging, okay. Right. Oh, his donors, some donors and uh, a former uh, agency head. Uh, we're found guilty of bid rigging for upstate development projects. Laura Namias, thank you so much for your insight. Thank you for having me.